want to repeat with you a dua, a supplication of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when it comes to the virus and so on, and we want protection from it. Number one, no need to panic. Number two, lay your trust in Allah. Number three, if you have any symptoms, just deal with them. Deal with them as you would for any other flu. And inshallah, while you're going to receive proper medication, because a lot of the healthcare systems are overwhelmed, it might take a bit of a while. In some places, it takes a very long while. So what you need to do is make sure you're dealing with the symptoms the way you usually deal with similar symptoms. So home remedies include a bit of turmeric, includes a little bit of black seed oil, includes salt goggles, includes uh, you know, improving your immune system with a bit of protein. And at the same time, you can have multivitamins and minerals. Make sure you don't drink anything cold, but no need to panic at all. 99% of the people will come out of this by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have the elderly, stay a little bit or keep a bit of a distance away from them. If you have those who are vulnerable, those who are weak, those with compromised immune systems, make sure that you take care of them by staying away from them. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you one thing today. Any bad habits that we've been telling you all along are bad habits, cut them out. For example, smoking. Smoking won't help you. You need to make sure you quit it now. I know it's very difficult. Many of you are on lockdown. We in Zimbabwe are commencing the official lockdown on Monday, but for now we are already on a self-imposed semi-lockdown. However, in that lockdown, people are going crazy because we're cooped up in a smaller area and we're not used to it. Be patient, be calm, learn to smile, learn to digest things, speak to your loved ones, learn to become a person who is very patient. And remember, cut your bad habits. The worst of the habits right now, smoking. Similarly, people who are wasting their time on their phones doing that which is destructive. If you're on your phone doing something constructive, listening to something that's empowering, going to give you hope, going to boost your, 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 your feelings and so on in the right way, then by all means. But if you're doing something destructive and you know what that means, cut it out. Don't do that. Don't earn the displeasure of Allah at a time like this. Not at all. It's a time of pondering, returning to Allah, meaning thinking about the greatness of Allah. I have started doing a lot with my own life, much more than I had before. And Alhamdulillah, I pray that Allah grant us goodness. I love you all. Take care. Stay safe. Stay at home. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.